Maracas Beach is one step closer to being restored to its title of one of the most beautiful beaches in Trinidad and Tobago. This as phase one of the Maracas Beach Facility Improvement Project has officially been completed and handed over to the Ministry of Tourism. The overall project had over the past year been under the remit of the Ministry of Works and Transport and the Minister Rohan Sinanon boasts that the project is now costing the state near half the initial cost given. Janine Brown reports. The Maracas Beach Facility Improvement Project is one of several projects inherited by the present administration upon entering office in 2015. It's also a project that came with a hefty bill with previously contracted companies charging the state just over $233 million for the beach upgrade. On a Friday, government delivered the first of three phases encompassing design and construction of the North Coast Road, the service road, the car park and other associated works. Works and Transport Minister Rohan Sinanan expressed pleasure over his ministry not only completing the project, but doing so with a heavily trimmed budget. It was inconceivable that we would have been able to deliver this project at 50% of the budget that it had a year ago. And I want to congratulate everybody who participated in ensuring that we were able to deliver. Minister Sinanan also recognized Kusals for their timely delivery of the project, having started work in May of this year. The chairman of the National Infrastructure Development Company Limited, Herbert George, said previous contractors had been terminated for failing to deliver. As early as 2006, the now defunct TDC engage the services of consultants to develop a master plan for the redesign and restoration of the beach. The recommendations were elaborate, and so too was the price tag. Cost of implementation of the plan was $233,191,981. Tourism Minister Sham Fakujo is counting the delivery as a major plus for the tourism sector, saying the sector has waited long enough for this moment. We have been hoping and praying for the meaningful start and progress and even completion of this project. There have been uh, a number of problems and challenges in really getting this project to, to, to really proceed. The new car park will accommodate 365 vehicles, while the previous parking facility held a maximum of 250. The drainage work has also been improved to reduce chances of flood and 14 streetlights have been installed to ensure the security of the surroundings. Work is ongoing to ensure a timely delivery of the last two phases of the project and the government's giving the assurance that the beach will remain open to the public while works persist. Janine Brown, C News. And with phase one of the Maracas Beach Facility Improvement Project being completed and handed over, Government is giving the assurance that the remaining two phases will be delivered by early to mid-2018. Phase 2 of the project, which is the construction and completion of the building works, more specifically vending booths and bathrooms, is expected to be completed by January 31, 2018. This phase is said to be 60% complete, and the design and construction of the wastewater treatment plant and upgrade in the water and sewer lines are expected to be delivered by May 11, 2018. NEDCO Chairman Herbert George says this phase in particular has been delayed. It was severely affected by inclement weather due to critical foundation works on the edge of the lagoon, which were highly weather sensitive. Now that the rainy season is over, we expect construction-friendly weather and a steady progress to completion 